What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. I'm out here with my boy Dylan, aka oh. Real Angling. Guys, go subscribe to his channel. Check him out. Awesome videos. So today we're ice fishing for walleye. I got my 24 inch St. Croix Ice Mojo, 10 pound line, and of course, the orange jig and wrap. The juice. So guys, a lot of you have been asking for catch and cooks, so today might be your lucky day. We're looking to catch some walleyes to take back. We're gonna cut them up and fry them up just for you guys. And if we don't catch any walleyes, Dylan has a couple perch for us that we can fry up as a plan B. So guys, stick along today. Let's see what happens. Over here at the bait shop, Sam's Pampered. Let's see what's going on. We can actually go in now. She makes these tip ups super nifty. They slay perch with these things, but today we're gonna use them for walleye. There we go. There's the bottom. Silvers. Well, I don't want to eat them. I want to catch them. Good fight. Oh, are you kidding me? Just kick slush down the hole. Better than nothing. I got one on my screen. I got one coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice. Great. Well, it's a bit on the small side, but what do you think? Uh, well, I gotta unhook them first. Mm -hmm. Called them too, Eddie. Eh? Huh? I don't know if you heard, I called them. What'd you say? I said I have a fish coming up to me. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. And he bit right away. That was sick. No coaxing, nothing. He just came up and smashed it, eh? What are you thinking? Those are the best eating. Yeah, look at him. Put him on the ice. Did he poop on you? <laughs> Might have. He pooped on you, bro. Maybe. All right, first one of the day, guys. <laughs> the old uh, snap wrap. Oops. First one of the day, guys, on the snap wrap. There you go. Came in hot. Let's get some more. Yeah. 
see this. What's up, Josh? Better run up the hill, man. CO is here. <laughs> Oh, we got one. Yeah. One's better than none. Again. Exactly. All right, so after fishing for about maybe three hours out here, we only managed one little walleye. Dylan caught it. I got skunked. Going home smelling like skunk. Oh, well. Uh, I know Dylan's also got some fish in the freezer from the past. I think he's got four walleyes, right? Four walleye and four walleye 10 or 12 perch so i did say that as a plan b if we didn't do good today there would still be fish back at home so it's going to be a catch and cook regardless uh we got one fresh walleye that's okay i think i'm gonna snack on that and then let dylan eat the rest of his oh sure battery just die while i'm shooting the outro either way you just put in a new battery and getting loaded about to head to the car about to head home Time to do some eating. All right, guys, stick along. Killing one side and doing the other side. <laughs> Welcome to the real angling kitchen. <laughs> Man, that's a nice boat. That's a nice boat, buddy. It's not your average kitchen right here. Cart. No, that's a sucker. Mucky. Oh, oh it is a sucker, sucker yeah. 27 and a half inches, 9.9 pounds. So we're just cutting up the walleye that Dylan caught today. Start off at the gills, slice down, make your way down the back, out the anal. Comes right up. That's, that's a sharp knife, buddy. Very sharp. <laughs> that's flying through that fish. This thing's a hog. <laughs> Big old girl. Work your way down the rip cage. Dylan is a master at this right now. Perfect. Voila. Perfection. Now we'll get the cheeks after. Yes, can't forget the cheeks. Same thing on the other side, down the gill plate. Got our bags here. Our Cheetos. Should we good? No Take more. more. Okay. Let's go. Got our hot Cheetos. Now, to... now for some crunch time. We got our egg wash, we got our corn flake, and we got our hot Cheeto batter. We're gonna be testing out what tastes better, the hot Cheeto batter or the corn flake. Let's see what happens here. We got some, looks like we got some pepper in there, oh, some okay. salt. I chopped up the, the fillets so we can, you know, try some with the hot Cheeto and try some with the cornflake. 
All right, so now we're about to toss these fillets in the different batters. We got first we're gonna a bunch of different strips. Gonna dry them off first. Dry them off, yes. Don't want water in that fryer. Start to go crazy. Nice, pat them down, get them nice and dry. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. I think both ways are gonna be good, but find out what's the better. That's the whole point of this. Fish once they're done cooking, dip it in the egg wash. Now I'll get the batter out for you. Drop her in there. You take off a lot of the egg. Yeah. That doesn't stay on. Yes. More. Shake off some of that egg. And then do the shake. Oh, that looks bad ass. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's my piece, dibs. <laughs> that looks so good, man. Holy. All right. Second piece. Shake off some of that excess egg wash. The monster shape. Yeah. Look at that. I think uh, this is gonna be a new recipe, dude. It looks pretty good. I think that's gonna be my new go-to. Hot Cheeto. Corn, corn flake. Get off there. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that booty. Yes. Yes, that looks beautiful. So we got a hot Cheeto, we got a corn flake. Flake batter. Shake it. Doesn't that look pretty? No, do some flaming hot walleye cheeks. Flaming hot walleye cheeks? Okay. Whip. Skew a little morsel of cheek. 
<laughs> much as it is, but yeah. Good luck finding it. <laughs> it disappeared. Found it. <laughs> it is what it is. That's gonna be the best part of this whole fish though. Something about that cheap texture is just so good. It's like chicken, right? Like chicken nugget. It's like a chicken nugget. Not much meat, but... Hey, something. It is what it is. <clears throat> now to scrounge for it. Watching them sizzle, eh? Yeah. That noise is just so satisfying. That Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be bomb. Alrighty. Now for the main event. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't wait to eat these. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited. My mouth is watering. All right, let's wait till these finish. Probably around three, five minutes. And let's get the munching. Oh, look at that. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, that looks delicious. Alright, I'm stoked. Good. We'll get a... Nice. What do you guys think? Should we fry up the guts too? You down? Yeah. <laughs> Let's fry up the guts, bro. Nah. <laughs> bro, this is a delicacy. In my country. Fish cuts, man. Let's get these bad boys on the paper towel. Get all that oil off. Not too greasy. So that's the cornflake batter, right? Yeah. And that is the hot Cheeto batter. Not gonna lie, the hot Cheeto batter looks way more delicious. You know what I mean? All right, we'll just give it a minute to cool down and then we'll uh, start munching. Fuck yeah. I have ketchup too if you want ketchup. I'm good, I'm just gonna eat them just Pure taste. I think they're ready. I'm about to bite into one. All right. Okay. I'll let you get the first first bite there. Right, six guys up right here. Okay. Crack some good old raspberry iced tea. Hmm. Okay. So. I'm gonna start off with. Corn flake batter. Oh my god, it's so flaky. It's like coming apart in my hand. Oh my goodness, look at that. Guys, white flaky meat, fresh off the oil, steaming. My mouth is watering. All right. What are you giving that out of 10? You know what? There's nothing better. The freshly caught fish 
that was alive literally hours ago. Out of 10, I'd have to give this a 9.5. This is just so good. Mm. He likes the fish. He it melts in your it. mouth. It does. No fishy taste. Not at all. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, hot. <laughs> wash down this cornflake filet so I can get the full taste. It smells good. Alright, the taste has reset it in my mouth. So, got this beautiful heart-shaped filet right here. Alright, ready bro? Cheers. Right. I'm excited. Mmm! Bro, bro, mm. that's good. That is so good, dude. It's delicious. You can taste the hot Cheeto. You can literally taste the hot Cheeto. In my opinion, guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The hot Cheeto batter was better than the cornflake batter. Why? Because not only is, is it something new, just, I'm a huge fan of spicy food, and it's just, the hot Cheeto had more spice, more of a kick, more flavor. I mean, I've ate the cornflake batter my whole life, you know, the flour batters. Just something new was the difference today. Out of 10, I would give the hot Cheeto batter, batter a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Cornflake was 9.5, I'm sorry though, the hot Cheeto beat you. So there you go, guys. That's it for today's episode. We did the comparison of normal cornflake batter and a hot Cheeto batter, which we've never done before, and it paid off. I think that's gonna be my new go-to when I'm frying fish. I think you guys should try it out too. Dylan, thank you for coming out today. Um, thank you for providing the fish, because I couldn't catch squat today. I actually got skunked. Who's that? Well, that's you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know how you thought today was. And let me know if you guys decide to try your own hot Cheeto batter. Guys, check out Real Angling. I'll leave his description in the... I'll leave his description. I'll leave his channel in the description below. Check him out. Thank you for watching, everybody. Appreciate your time. Have a beautiful night. Peace. I forgot to eat the cheek. All right, down the hatch. Oh my God. It's just a different texture. Mm. It's more chewier, more savory. I can taste more Cheeto on it. Yeah, you can.